Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are talking about my least favorite products from my favorite brands. So if you are curious about that, please keep on watching. I already have on my channel the reverse idea of this video, my favorite products from my least favorite brands. And today we are doing the other one. I saw Anielika film these videos, so that is my inspiration. And I know that Christmas is not here, but I have a gnome in the back and he was very cute in the store. So I decided to just bring it home. And I do like the background like this better because I had something pink previously. And I think that will be for spring and summer. I have eight brands in here and I do have more brands that are my favorite, for example, Natasha Denona, but I don't have a product that I really, really don't like from Natasha Denona. So that's the reason it's not on this list. I have eight brands in here. The first one is NYX Cosmetics and I tested so many things from NYX and I have just so many favorites. NYX is for sure the brand where I have tested the most. I have actually two products to mention. One is just not the best, but the other one is horrible in my opinion and a lot of people are liking it and I don't know how, but is the Shine Loud. This one is unacceptable in my opinion. And I'm gonna pop a bunch of photos with these because I don't have them, because I did declutter them because I usually declutter the products that I don't enjoy. So Shine Loud. It was a mess. And if you don't know this product, it is a two in one. You are getting a lipstick that is supposed to be very, very long lasting and then a gloss just to put on top. The lipstick part was very patchy, goopy, ugly. And then the gloss, the gloss was practically nothing. The most basic gloss in the world and it was wearing off pretty fast. So you were supposed to reapply, reapply, reapply the gloss throughout the day and you will run out of that gloss very, very, very fast. And sure, you can apply other glosses, but they will probably disrupt the um, lipstick part of the product. So it was a mess and it was patchy. The lipstick, I was staying like this and just not put my lips together and waiting for it to dry and it looked ugly so it was no 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 a big fail in my opinion and the other product that i don't get is the jumbo eye pencil I'm sure the white one could work in the waterline but it's not staying in the waterline that long i tested a shimmery gold shade and it was not pigmented enough to be a one shadow look on the lids you can just put your concealer or even better, an eyeshadow primer on your lid and just take any gold shimmery shadow and put it with your finger on your lids and it will look just a million times better. So I don't get that product. Then we have Essence and Essence is a brand with a lot of hit and misses. Usually I do enjoy Essence products, but there are some products that are hard to understand. For example, I have this one, Lash and Brow, the clear brow gel thingy. What is that? It is a clear gel that is doing nothing. It's just wetting the hairs. Useless, don't purchase it. It is it's just it's doing nothing. Waste of money for sure. Next we have Huda Beauty and I just love the powder. The lipstick is really good, the liquid one and I heard a lot of good things about the bullet ones as well. So Huda Beauty as a brand, I do enjoy the aesthetic and everything, but I have three products actually to mention. One is my least favorite, but I want to mention the other two because they are not the best. So um, I know that Glowish technically is not Huda Beauty, but it says in here Glowish by Huda Beauty. So I, I have no idea what it is. It is a sub brand or whatever. It's just a line. I have no idea, but these two are this is the least favorite thing from Huda Beauty. This is useless. I almost used it up and not because I enjoy it that much. It's just because I don't want to waste products if I can use them. And the lip balm is, it is usable. So yeah, but it's doing nothing. The reason that I used it so fast is because I need to reapply, reapply, reapply a bunch of times because it's not hydrating. 
This is awful. I think it is in coconut. I have no idea because the writing is coming off and the sticker is not breathable. And I had this one in my purse just to finish it <laughs> as fast as possible, but it's just no. And then I have the glowish quad and the formula is okay when it comes to the mats. They are just not impressive at all. The shimmer is just hard pressed and it's just a gold. I do like the idea of this palette, but these three shades are just middle toned shades. I would have preferred a lighter one, a darker one, so contrast. And as well, this shimmer is just so boring and so lackluster. It's just, look at it, it's just the most basic gold shade ever. If you want a way better gold shade, just this one from Wet n Wild is like five bucks or something. You get a lot more shades and these gold shades are actually doing something. And another palette from Huda that I just don't get is this one. This is the Matte Obsession palette. And it is a full matte palette, which from the start is not my favorite, but that's not the fault of the palette. And you get two cream shadows. These are awful. If you are applying this on your lids, it will crease, so I'm not using them. And then the rest of the shades are okay. They are not a bad formula, but Huda has a bunch of pinky purpley shades. You don't really need this one. If you have any other palette, you probably have some of these. Next brand is MAC, and I do enjoy MAC in general as a brand. I do like the vision. The lipsticks are just 10 out of 10. The blushes are amazing. Highlighter is amazing. The foundations usually are great. Today I am wearing the new Radiance foundation for the first time and it looks pretty good. So I do enjoy a lot of products from MAC, but the lip gloss, what is this one? They need to <laughs> redo this formula because it is horrible. It is so goopy, sticky, uncomfortable. It looks just not the best and it is very uncomfortable and ugly. They have amazing lip liners, lipsticks in different formulas. So I don't know what this is. Next brand is Nabla and I do enjoy a lot of products from Nabla. The brushes are great. I have a palette that is really nice. The eyeliner is one of my favorites, the Arrow eyeliner. The lip liners are one of my favorites. The lipstick is so, so beautiful, the matte one. So I have a bunch of favorites from Nabla. But the bronzer, the bronzer was not my favorite. I had it one year and a half ago or something like that. Again, a decluttered product. It's just a bit patchy and hard to blend. It was not the easiest formula to work with. So because of that, it is my least favorite product from Nabla. Then we have Sigma Beauty and I love the eyeshadow base. The lip oil is one of my favorite. The brushes are incredible. The corrector was great because I did finish it up fully. So I do have a bunch of favorites from Sigma and in general, the ideas that they have, I do love them. But my least favorite product, the Untamed palette. And I actually will talk about this palette as well. This is the Jules palette from Sigma. And today I am wearing it on my eyes. It is a first impression. So let's, let's talk about the Untamed because I have the same opinion about both of these palettes, but I want to try this one a bit more. The mattes are very pigmented, which is great in general, but they are not easy to blend out. Today I have in here just an unblended edge. I used this one on the edge and it's just, again, I used so many formulas, so many palettes, different shades, blue eyeshadow, green, yellow, stuff that are a bit harder to work with. And I did a decent job most of the times with my eyeshadow. So, Sure, it could be user error, but at the same time, I feel like this Wet n Wild palette is easier <laughs> to work with 
than that Sigma palette. So Sigma eyeshadows are just not for me. And the shimmers, the shimmers are pretty lackluster. I am wearing the purple in here and the yellow underneath and there is nothing special about them. Next brand is Catrice and I put this lip balm thingy, the You Matter gloss balm thing. It was a mess. First of all, what it is with this packaging? It is a tube. So I need to use a lip brush, which is very, very annoying, or my finger and it to look. Because the product was very thick, goopy, and too pigmented for whatever this is. So it was looking absolutely horrible on the lips and this bright pink was not it. So I just put it once on my lips. I got scared and just gave it to my mom. Maybe she could enjoy it or just throw it away because it is, it is something else. And lastly, I have Olaplex on my list. I do enjoy Olaplex in general, the shampoos, the conditioner. I just love them and I tested all the shampoos. I have the number four, the simple one, which is the best one in my opinion. And then the purple one that is great and it is doing the job correctly. And I love Olaplex in general, but the dry shampoo, this was a joke. It was so expensive and it was so bad. A joke, really a big fail. I have oily hair. If you have very dry hair, you can use this product to give some volume to your hair. It was not a dry shampoo in my opinion. It was doing nothing, nothing. It was not absorbing any oils. So yeah, a waste of money really. And a really bad product in my opinion. So these are all the products that I want to talk about. If any of these are your favorites, that is totally okay. That is great actually, because you bought something that you really enjoy, but these are just not for me. As you can see, I did declutter most of them. I hope this video was not too negative. I don't want to hate on these brands, because like I said, these are my favorite brands or some of my favorites. And yeah, so if you like this video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like and I'll see you next time.